How are you doing today? So I started to get ready um, to go out and do a couple things this weekend, see some friends, maybe go out to lunch. And I figured, why don't I get ready with you guys? So I already put my foundation on. And um, if you haven't seen my foundation routine, you can go back. I believe it's two videos back. And I do my full foundation routine so you can see it there. So I'm just going to chit chat while I'm doing this. I'm going to clip my hair back. And um, just go ahead and start doing my eyes. Because I'm not doing anything special. So it's just kind of, a, you know, hanging around with some friends. And getting some food and just chilling out kind of day. So I have my um, mirror on the side, so please excuse me if I'm going to be looking to the side. Um, so um, I'm using um, MAC Painterly on my all over my eyelids first. Um, I wanted to tell you guys, I've gotten a few questions on um, YouTube, you know, under my videos in the comments that um, why my name is Russian cat. I'm sure most of you can kind of realize why Russian is thrown in my name because of my accent. I was born and raised in Russia up until I was 15 years old. And the cat comes from my name. My name is Katrina. So I was actually trying to get the same name as my YouTube Meant name. to say which, Twitter. Russian cat one, but that name was already taken. So the next best option to me was Miss Russian cat. So that's the answer to that question. I'm taking a Laura Mercier palette and I'm going to use um, color Stellar. And it's like a nudish color with a little bit of shimmer. And I'm just going to pack it all over my eyelid up to my crease. Now I came here when I was. 15 years old and I came kind of through a program like American um, as an American exchange student so I was placed with American family and I lived with them from the time I came here when I was 15 up until I was 18 years old and I finished my last years of high school here in Fort Lauderdale and then I moved on to college and I went to Atlanta I lived in Buckhead and I studied architecture. I got my bachelor's in architecture and I decided to go ahead and take a two-year course in interior design. I ended up dropping out because I got a great opportunity to come back to Florida and work for an interior design company and do some drafting. And I've been working for them for about seven years now. And now with the tough economy, I went from full-time employee to a part-time employee, which is okay with me because I've been really busting my ass for the past seven, eight years or so. So right now I'm just taking a little time off and I'm still working, but I'm not working nearly nowhere as much as I used to work. By the way, right now in my crease, I just put this color which is cashmere and it's like a light purpley color so i'm putting that in my crease there we go and now i'm gonna take a clean blending brush and just kind of blend all that together excuse me i'm looking for like a black liner and I can't find it in this big jar. So I'm going to take this Physician Formula Black Charcoal Liner and I'm going to put it on top of my lid but just kind of halfway like so. Going up a little bit and then I'm going to take my like a smudging stick from e.l.f. looks like this. I'm going to kind of smudge it out and up. So I don't want any uh, harsh lines. So. I try to work um, 
When you smudge in a liner like that, the only the only reason I'm doing like one eye at a time because you want to be kind of quick with it because otherwise it dries and then it's harder to smudge it out. A little bit, smudge it a little bit into my crease. You know, I just play with makeup as I go along. I don't really like sit down and do a specific look. Like I don't see looks in the magazine and be like, oh my gosh, I gotta do this. That's just you know, not my thing. Maybe I'll get into it, but for now, that's how I do my makeup. I'm gonna take um like a dark brown color on this type of um angle brush, and I'm just gonna line my eyes with it, getting as close to the uh, lash line as you can. Should we play some music? It's like really quiet in here. Let's see the first song that I see we'll play. Who is this? Oh, this is Adele. I love Adele, don't you guys? So, here we go. We got that brown color in. And let me turn this down so you can hear me. So we take this brown color in, we kind of go over the black part that we created. Too sad a little bit. Okay, do the same thing another eye. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're just doing like, you know, day look and once you blend everything in, you'll be good. Okay, now I'm gonna take a brush like this, like a small packing brush. I'm gonna go back with lighter brown. Let me take that in the crease. Not in the crease, but you know, create like a little V shape. Darken it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my, um, excuse me. I'm going to take my blending, clean blending brush that I used earlier, and I have a little towel here so I wipe the brush off. I'm just going to go in and kind of blend everything together into a crease and slightly up. Um, next, I'm gonna take buttercream color and it's like a light nude color. I'm gonna put everything down below all the products that I use so you guys know because it's kind of hard to show and get ready at the same time. But I will list all the products down below. It is an old and then I'm gonna take my um. Naked two palette, and I'm gonna use booty call, and I'm gonna go with the brush, the brush that came with the palette, and I'm gonna take that booty call, and I'm gonna put it right, right under our eyebrow, so we don't get too much shimmer, but we get that little bit like uplift. Again, take your blending brush. Is that the one? Yep. Take a blending brush and just blend, so it's not like in your face shimmer right there. It's just a little bit of shimmer. Now I'm gonna take the same um, angle brush that I used for my eyeliner, and I'm gonna go in the Naked Two palette and use the color Tease, and I'm gonna line my bottom lash line with it, but not all the way in, just my outer corner. I'm kind of connect the upper and lower shadows and then closer to the inside I'm gonna use this Milani Milani pen shadow eyes and this in color champagne toast and it looks like this and I'm gonna line my waterline 
and also taking my into my inner corner and under my lash line but on the inner part of the eye since we already lined the outer part now I'm gonna just take my my foundation brush without any product and just kind of brush in fallout go back again with the blending brush and just kind of blend the corners a little bit more here we go and curl our um eyelashes you guys please let me know what is your favorite eyelash curler i use first this um last blast length by CoverGirl and this barely has any product but I like the brush on it because it kind of separates my lashes so that's what I use it for and I use this first. Let me turn a little bit so you guys can see me. So okay then i like to go ahead and use bad girl lash and i love this mascara that came in my um beauty insider perk but as soon as i run out of sample i'm gonna go ahead and purchase a full size this mascara by benefit where is it this one yes they're real i didn't like this mascara that was a waste of money to me but this one i love 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 so i feel like this mascara does the job of what I want mascara to do. I mean, I have other mascaras that I use for like more dramatic looks to when like you're getting ready to go out at night. But for daytime mascara, I think it's a perfect mascara. It lengthens, it separates, it's just nice. Next, just a little bit, tiny bit of mascara on my bottom lash line i don't like too much mascara on my bottom lashes unless i'm doing like really smoky dark eye so just a little bit of mascara on my bottom lash line you guys can also follow me on instagram miss russian cat and i'm loving it i'm like following a whole bunch of girls from here and it's just a lot of fun and then it connects to um twitter so you don't have to go like separately on twitter and then go separately on instagram you can just post on instagram and it comes up on all your on all your social media channels so that's kind of cool um by the way i just used don Dillion blush okay for lips i'm gonna line them with Victoria's Secret and this this is just like nude lip liner Next I'm gonna use lipstick in hue by Mac I like to layer my lipstick so next I'm gonna go ahead and use Nikki I'm just gonna go ahead and just blend it out with my fingers and put my hair down. I'm not doing anything with my hair today because it's freshly washed and straight. So that is how I get ready for just a daytime look, I guess. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments down below. Please subscribe. I have a giveaway coming up next week, so stay tuned for that, and um, I hope you enjoy your weekend. I love you for watching. Bye. Thank you for watching, loves. I'll see you again soon.